This audio redub is by possible by Thomas and Friends and Mattel Creations. And my contributions to the Friendship Bonds 2020 channel to viewers like you. Thank you. Henry in the Dark. Rewritten. Adapted by Friendship Bonds 2020 and edited by Monster Steam. Narrated by Conductor Crutch. And image covers illustrated by Monster Steam. We hope you enjoy! On the island of Sodor, there's a location called the Steamworks. It's a place where engines, trucks, and coaches get repaired or repainted. But one day, a special shipment of paint had arrived. A type of paint that glows in the dark. This glow-in-the-dark paint is useful for engines to see what the text says on a sign at night. One early evening, Henry came to the steamworks to be repainted, as the green all over his body was becoming dull and warm. Henry entered the steamworks fearing cheerful about himself. Hello everyone, I've come for my repaint. Victor puffed up to Henry. Hello, Henry, my friend. We've been expecting you. You wait for Kevin to bring you your new paint. Kevin! Kevin rolled in feeling overwhelmed while holding some metal pipes on a flatbed. What is it, boss? I'm struggling to hold these pipes. He said to Victor, as then he got interrupted. Kevin, stop rushing. Henry needs to be repainted right now. So go and fetch some green paint. Kevin thought for a moment of what Victor meant. Green paint? Yes, boss. He said as he drove off screen, but then accidentally dropped the pipe. Oops. Sorry, boss. Henry is slightly amused by Kevin's clumsiness. Is he still this klutzy, Victor? He's still young, so he's still learning. Despite the numerous amount of times I have to tell him to slow down. I see. Kevin came back while holding the flatbed with a couple of buckets of green paint. Here you go, Henry. He said as he dropped the flatbed in front of the painter, who got his brush ready for the job. Later, it was nearly nighttime, and Henry was all done getting himself repainted as he left the steamworks. Thanks, everyone! He said as he blew his whistle and exited the steamworks. As Henry was puffing along the main line, the sky got darker and the strangest things started to occur. His paint started to glow, bright and ghostly, left unaware that he had been given the wrong type of paint. At a junction, Thomas was finishing his last job for the day as he began to feel tired. Oh, I'm absolutely exhausted from all that work I did hours ago, he said to himself, as he then spotted a glowing green moving object in the distance. <laughs> What's that? He exclaimed as he started to get scared. G -g ghost He shouted as he puffed away from Henry. Henry began to feel confused. That's strange. I thought I saw Thomas. I guess he wanted to rush himself for the night, he said to himself. Thomas stopped while stuttering with fear. <sighs> I... I think it's gone, he said, as he then saw Gordon in the distance. Watch out, Gordon! There's a ghost train out there! Gordon doesn't believe in what Thomas is saying. Don't be silly, Thomas. There's no such thing as a ghost train, he said, as he puffs past him. Then, a crow flew past Thomas. Ah! Ah! Meanwhile, up ahead... Henry keeps on moving along until he could see James. Ah, there's James. James stopped at a signal box, in which he soon saw something glowing approaching him. Then he gasped in utter horror as he watched the luminous object come closer and puff backwards as quickly as he could. Ah! You'll never take me away, ghost! Henry passes the signal box being confused again. Huh? Where did James go? I might have seen him puff backwards. He said to himself. James puffed back 
to where he stopped at while panting in fear as he sees Gordon approaching him. Look out, Gordon! There's a ghost train up ahead of you! Gordon gets annoyed that he is being told the same thing again with another engine. Nonsense, James. There's no such thing as a ghost train. James whistles as he puffs away, feeling scared. As Gordon was puffing along, he groans in annoyance from what he had been hearing about from the past two engines he came across. I have no clue as to why those engines suddenly believe there's a ghost train here. They're just being... He paused abruptly to see a certain glowing engine right next to him and started puffing faster while screaming in fright. <laughs> Henry then became very dumbfounded. Huh? Even Gordon? Meanwhile, at Tidmouth Sheds, Thomas and James told the other engines about the ghost train. It was so... freaky looking! Thomas exclaimed. All ghostly and glowing! James replied with a slight whisper out loud. Gordon then approached the turntable while panting. Did you see the ghost train too, Gordon? Percy asked him. Gordon was scared of what he saw, but tried to hide his emotion. I uh, have seen the ghost train, but it wasn't really frightening at all. He replied bluntly. From all the talk going on, Edward woke up feeling confused. <sighs> what y'all just chattering about? Edward, there's a ghost train out there! Percy exclaimed in fear. Edward was puzzled at first, but then he laughed. Oh, come on now, everyone. There is no such thing as a ghost train, and therefore shouldn't be any reason to be scared about it. He replied, reassuring them. But the other engines didn't listen and started to fear for the ghost train even more. But we can't help but be scared, Edward. Gordon, James, and I saw it for ourselves. Thomas replied back. Emily, in her own mind, she is mentally stuck in a two-situation scenario. Should I be scared, or should I believe in what Edward had said? She said to herself as she wasn't entirely sure. But the engines at Tidmouth are not the only ones scared of the spooky ghost train lurking about. Ooh. Cranky groaned as he kept his eyes shut. Cranky? What's wrong? I don't get it. Why are all the other engines running away from me? They were like, Oh, ghost! Henry responded from down below, wanting an answer. Cranky opens his eyes to see that the glowing object is just Henry. Henry. He asked as he looked down at him. And then he called out to Salty and Porter. Salty, Porter, it's only Henry. Porter puffs out from underneath the roof. Henry? Why are you glowing? Salty oiled out from underneath the roof. You're lighting up like a green lighthouse. Henry then became very confused now. Green lighthouse? I don't understand what you're talking about. Hold on, I'll show you. Cranky said as he lowers down a mirror to give Henry a realization. Henry looks at his reflection and gasps in amazement. Oh, wow! I must have been painted with the glowing green paint. He pointed out as he then realized another thing. That must have been why every engine I passed was running away from me. They must have thought I was a ghost train. He giggled to himself as he whistled. Henry then backed down to the large goods train, continuing with his flying kipper run as normal. When Henry came back to Tidmouth Sheds the next morning, his paint was not glowing anymore. I didn't get a wink of sleep after thinking about that ghost train. Not a wink! James said as he puffed out of his berth, feeling restless. Good morning, Henry. The others kept rambling on about some ghost train last night. Edward said to Henry. Good morning, Edward. I just got a repaint, and last night, the strangest thing happened, and my paint started to- That ghost train was probably the scariest thing I've ever seen! Thomas said, interrupting Henry. You must have seen it, Henry! You've been out there all night! Emily called out. Well, the thing is- Was it really terrifying up close? James said it had a ghostly glow and a horrible wailing whistle! Percy said, interrupting Henry again. Well, actually- 
Gordon started to smirk. I bet Henry was shaking in his smoke box. James started to smirk as well. We all know how much of a scary engine you really are when it comes to almost everything. Edward gasped after hearing that. Once an engine attached to a train was afraid of a few drops of rain. Gordon taunted, reminding Henry of his mistake in the past. Henry blushed, but otherwise glared at Gordon and James. After seeing Henry all humiliated, Edward whistled while glaring at Gordon and James. Oh, come on! Henry isn't scared all the time! Maybe he must have seen the ghost train, although I bet he wasn't even frightened at all, unlike you two. So would you two knock it off about that whole rain incident years ago? He scoffed at the two engines. Henry's blush disappeared now that he heard what Edward said and finally spoke up. Edward's right. Indeed, I have seen it, but I wasn't scared in the slightest. Henry scoffed as he closed his eyes and puffed further into his berth. What do you want to tell us again, Henry? Emily asked. It doesn't matter! Henry yelled back from inside the shed. Later that night, all the engines are staying at Tidmouth, with most of them still feeling fearful about the ghost train. I'm not going out there in the dark, Percy said to Thomas. You should take the mail train, Thomas. Me? I'm not doing it! Not there or that ghost train might come back! Thomas retorted back. Then he looked over at Edward. Uh, how about Edward? Edward made the I can't do this anymore look and decided to do Percy's job. Ah, uh, all right then. I can go take the mail train and I will show you all that there is no ghost train out there. He called, but then he smiled. And maybe I might come across Henry during the night. Everyone else gasped at Edward's response. Edward blew his whistle and puffed out of his shed. Be careful, Edward. Emily called out quietly. While pulling the mail train on the main line, Edward couldn't understand as to why Percy wouldn't do his job. Uh, first teasing Henry about his past, and now Percy not doing his favorite job? I don't know what those engines are worrying about. I know I've told scary stories before, but then again they shouldn't take them that seriously. He spoke to himself out loud until the sound of chuffing came closer towards him. Evening, Edward, Henry said casually while puffing past him. Oh, hello there. Edward responded back, but then stopped for a brief second. Wait, wait a minute. Did I just see... No way. Edward took a glance at the glowing engine rolling off into the distance, and then realized who it was. Was that... Henry? He questioned. Then, he puffs on closer to the engine to see a number three on the tender, and then saw Henry. What are you doing this late at night? Usually it's Percy who does the mail run out here. Well, Percy refused to take the mail train tonight, so they went and decided to do it for him. That's not like Percy. He always likes pulling the mail train. I know, right? All of our friends are being really strange tonight. So, you were the ghost train, Henry? Yes, Edward, I am. The painter had accidentally given me the wrong green paint yesterday. And that explains the glowing effect. If I'm honest, I do think you look rather splendid in that. Oh, thank you, Edward. Henry giggled as he continued to smile at Edward. Also, thank you for standing up for me this morning. I'm pretty sure Gordon and James don't even know what they're talking about. <laughs> it's not a problem, Henry. I'm tired of everyone thinking that there's a ghost train out here, and it's quite brave of you to speak up for yourself as well. Ah, oh, goodness, the more I say ghost train, the more it starts to not feel like a real term anymore. He quickly mumbled to himself with a vexed expression. Henry blushed slightly. That is true, Edward. Then, he came up with an idea and smirked. I think we should teach those engines a lesson tonight. And what would that be? I hope you're not doing something potentially vicious, Henry. Edward asked, feeling somewhat suspicious, yet a small part of him felt intrigued. When I puff back to the sheds, I'll scare them with my ghostly livery so they can get what they deserve. And I promise it's only going to show them that it's only me. Edward understood at what he said and grinned. Well then, how about you continue on? 
I'll see you back at the shed with your scare, he said as he puffs ahead of him. Henry only smiled back, giggling about his plan. A few hours later, Edward arrived back at Tidmouth and puffed onto the turntable feeling calm. Percy notices how calm Edward looked as he returned. Did you see that? Awful ghost train, Edward? I might have seen it. Or maybe I haven't. Edward replied as he backed up into his berth. James was amazed. Wow! Edward yawned as he was exhausted. Ugh, well, I've got to get some sleep for tomorrow. Good night, everyone. He responded, right before closing his eyes. I think we should believe that Edward was telling the truth. He was pretty brave going out there. Emily said, looking at everyone else. But that ghost train might come out and spook us at any moment. Percy said, almost panicked. <laughs> Thomas, James, and Gordon all shouted in fear. Emily then started to become annoyed. Edward is right. You're all being silly. I'm pretty sure what he meant was true, and that there's no such thing as a ghost train. She stated bluntly, but then here's Henry's whistle. Huh? She gasped as she immediately saw Henry, prompting herself to puff backwards in inside her shed in fear. Ah! Henry rushes onto the turntable in a very sudden and unexpected manner, smiling confidently. Ah! Thomas, James, Percy, and Gordon all screamed as they puffed backwards further into their berths. Good job, Henry, Edward said quietly, with an amused face and was only pretending to sleep. Only me! Henry called out to everyone. Every engine puffed out of the sheds to see Henry in front of them. Henry? You mean you were the ghost train? Emily called out in confusion. Why didn't you tell us, Henry? James asked. Henry glared at them. Because you all wouldn't even let me tell you that I was repainted with the wrong color. And you all think I'm a scaredy engine. He responded firmly and angrily. His frown shortly turned into a small smile. Edward saw me earlier, and he didn't run off screaming. Edward! Edward! Thomas, James, Percy, Gordon, and Emily shouted. Yes, yes, everyone. I saw Henry out there. But can we just go back to sleep so we aren't cranky tomorrow morning? Edward replied to everyone casually. Good idea. We're pretty tired ourselves. Good night, everyone. Don't let ghostly bedbugs bite. Henry giggles as he puffs back into his berth. Everyone aside from Edward and Henry blushed in embarrassment for being silly. Edward quietly chuckled as he winked at Henry. Henry winks back at Edward and closes his eyes to rest for the night. The next day, Henry got back from the steamworks with a normal repaint. In fact, he and Edward had arranged to eventually meet with one another again after the older engine had done with his branch line duties. Say, Henry, do you know when there may ever be a time when glowing blue paint is a thing? Edward asked jokingly with a playful smirk. Henry chuckled heartedly at that. Maybe there is, Edward. Maybe there is. The two engines exchanged warm smiles to each other before happily rolling back to the sheds together.